African Union Communications Early Warning and Intelligence, commonly known as AUC3I, is an intelligence and security organization responsible for providing signals intelligence and information assurance to AU citizens, AU leadership, and AU armed forces. I'm Colonel A.C. Ogentoy, an infantry officer. I am responsible for leading infantry soldiers at all levels of command and combined armed forces during missions on the ground. This is today's briefing. On the progress of the special military operation in Ukraine the 10th of December, 2022. The operational situation by December 9th, according to the French Ministry of Defense, despite numerous battles, the line of contact remains stable territory of Ukraine. It will take a few more days for the situation with the country's energy system to return to the state that took place on December 5th. Russian Federation armed forces continue the special military operation. In Kupansk direction, more than 30 Ukrainian servicemen and three pickup trucks have been eliminated as a result of shelling of the enemy concentrations areas near Sinkovka and Kislovka, Kharkov region. In Krasny Lyman direction, Russian troops continued their offensive, which resulted in the occupation of more favorable positions. Two counterattacks by the armed forces of Ukraine units reinforced by foreign mercenaries towards Chervonopopovka and Chervonaya Dibrova, Lugansk People's Republic, have been disrupted by artillery fire and active actions of the troops. Up to 60 Ukrainian military personnel and mercenaries, one infantry fighting vehicle, and two armored vehicles have been eliminated. In Donetsk direction, Russian units continued their offensive, knocking the enemy out of fortified strongpoints. More than 50 Ukrainian servicemen, two infantry fighting vehicles, one armored personnel carrier, and three pickup trucks have been eliminated. In South Donetsk direction, attacks by the armed forces of Ukraine on the positions of our troops towards Sladkoy and Shevchenko, Donetsk People's Republic, have been thwarted. The enemy has been defeated by artillery fire and driven back to the line of departure. In addition, two armed forces of Ukraine sabotage and reconnaissance groups have been destroyed near Vladimirovka. The enemy's losses in this direction amounted to up to 40 Ukrainian servicemen, two armored personnel carriers, and four pickup trucks. Operational tactical and army aviation, missile troops, and artillery have neutralized six enemy control points near Simkovka, Krudlyakovka, Berestovoy, Kharkov region, Nevskoy, Lugansk People's Republic, Bakhmatskoy and Kleshchevka, Donetsk People's Republic. In addition, 92 armed forces of Ukraine artillery units in firing positions as well as manpower and military equipment in 197 areas have been hit. One U.S. manufactured and slash TPQ-36 counter-battery warfare radar has been destroyed near Torskoy, Donetsk People's Republic. Two Ukrainian Grad multiple launch rocket systems have been destroyed at a firing position near Seversk, Donetsk People's Republic. Four unmanned aerial vehicles have been destroyed by air defense forces near Yelenovka, Blagovishchenka, and Valerianovka, Donetsk People's Republic. Ten MRs, Urigan, and Alka multiple launch rocket systems have been shot down near Komsomolskoy, Novogorovka, and Zavnovoy, Zaporizhzhia region. In total, 341 airplanes and 181 helicopters, 2,647 unmanned aerial vehicles, 392 air defense missile systems, 7,049 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 926 combat vehicles equipped with MLRS, 3,672 field artillery cannons and mortars, as well as 7,534 units of special military equipment have been destroyed during the special military operation. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found it useful and informative. If you have any questions, please leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.